Well, Mr. DJ's running very late tonight. Going to cut one more video. I was hoping to cut about five or six videos tonight, but I guess it looks like it's going to be only three. That's it. I've been having some major computer problems over the last few nights. I may have to may have to take it in somewhere. The tower has been real slow. It's troublesome, very troubling. But let's uh, so much for my problems. Let's talk about uh, well YouTube. My YouTube channel, the 70s, a video. I lost 45. I want to talk to you about. Man, this is a fantastic disco soul record that should have made top 40, but was not really commercial enough for top 40. It was more of a club hit. It's by an act called Philly Cream. This tune was called Motown Review. Sort of a tribute to the Motown acts back in the 1960s. It was a tribute to the 60s. And, uh, I don't know. I couldn't find any information about Mo, uh, about uh, Philly Cream. Except for to, I had to consult my top forty Bible, and you gotta look at my top forty Bible. This is it right here. That's about a third of it. It's just torn up. <laughs> it's time to get a new one, folks. Anyway, uh, Billy Cream consisted of the session musicians Valerie Valerie Lipford and Samuel Tompkins. Not sure if they recorded at the famed Sigmund Sound Studio, which was the crossroads, the epicenter of the sound of Philadelphia, as it was produced by Leon Hoff and Kenny Campbell back in the 70s. I mean, I'm not sure if they were part of that or not, but it's got that Philly sound for sure. And uh, that's all I got to say about it. The week of, of July 7, 1979, it went from number 88 to number 77 on Billboard's Hot 100. It would peak at 67. That is it. But uh, i tell you what, just for the heck of it, some of the songs that were real popular that week on uh, July the 7th, 1979, bring back some memories perhaps for some of you. Making It by David Naughton, I Want You to Want Me by Cheap Trick. <laughs> you take my breath away, my Rick Smith. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ain't No Stopping Us Now, great disco record by McFannin and Whitehead. Whitehead. Peter Frampton's last top 40 hit in the summer of 1979 happened that summer. I Can't Stand It No More. Days Gone Down by Jerry Rafferty, who did Baker Street the year before. Does Your Mother Know by ABBA. I Was Made for Loving You by Kiss. Yes, I'm going to get my Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Never made it to the Kiss Army. I wasn't drafted, but <laughs> didn't volunteer either. But you know, <laughs> Kiss Rock. Uh, anyway, some other music trivia from 1979. Just a few little tidbits. You're not gonna believe this. You are absolutely not gonna believe this. As a matter of fact, if you're standing up, sit down. If you're sitting down, recline. That's right, recline. Sit back in your chair. Make sure it's a comfortable chair. August 10th, 1979. Mr. James Brown, Mr. Mr. The Godfather of Soul, James Brown. Mother Popcorn, get on up, I'm a sex machine, lick and stick, some of those soul hits from back in the day. Mr. James Brown performed at the Grand Ole Opry. I don't know how that was arranged, but that would have been something else. Pretenders signed a deal with Sire Records in 1979, and not long after that, they came out with their first really big hit, top 40 hit, Brass and Pocket, which went top 30, I think, back in the spring of 1980. Had quite a few hits in the 80s. Middle of the Road won the best records. Technological news. Here's a technological milestone. July 1st, 1979, Sony Walkman goes on sale in Japan. Here's Philly Cream, Session Musicians. Oh, I love this disco record. God, this was a strong disco record. It could have at least gone up to 35 or 30. This is Motown Review, Only Guys High is number 67 on Billboard's Hot 100.